What's up, Salmon Squad? I am the Game Salmon, and welcome back to the glorious Around the Clock at Bikini Bottom. We are back with some more SpongeBob, and we are finally at the point where things start to get spooky. So if you're excited for the spooks, please be sure to like the video, subscribe, go follow me on Twitch, and leave a comment down below. 24. Okay, well, the only place that we can go is Glove World, 9 p.m. By the way, there's a whole bunch of like collectibles and achievements at the bottom. We're not worrying about that yet. That's that's post-game stuff. You will play as Patrick within Glove World. The difficulty for this level is easy. Jumping is enabled. Do you wish to proceed? <laughs> Glove World is our starting point to this grand adventure. While SpongeBob and Patrick are enjoying the fireworks from tonight's show, the invaders are getting personal with the Glove World staff. They are here to serve one purpose, to feed the Overlord. I remember this cutscene. I'm sure it's been all polished and everything. Wow. This is one of the levels from the original demo of the game. Oh boy, Patrick, I can't wait to cheer Squidward on while he's performing. Oh, that's great. Oh, that is great, SpongeBob. He's really excited to make it into the symphony orchestra. Bye. I've never seen him so happy. Have you, Patrick? Patrick? Hmm. Uh, Patrick? Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'd say this is the happiest, happy, yeah, ha happiest he's been since the electrocution accident. <laughs> I hope he isn't as creepy this time around. Oh, God. Oh, man, I need to, I need to lubricate, like, the throat a little bit. Okay. Finally, a chance! All these years, people have been mocking the name Squidward Q Tentacles. Huh. Tonight, I'm gonna give that audience the best show of my entire career! Huh. They'll be demanding encores, autographs, I'll be respected for sure! Huh. I'll start by writing my signature on this clarinet they provided for me. Downright gorgeous! Huh. Yeah, who could be cutting into my rehearsal time now? Huh. Hello, you've reached an inspiring star. Please start at the terrible clarinet sounds. Failure. Arg, Mr. Squidward, I... No, oh, no, you don't. No, cr you crustaceous cheapskate. All right. You're not dragging me into work when I'm about to perform, so good day. Arg, wait, listen, you... S s you what? Oh, cephalopod. Cephalopod grog? There's something smelly going on around here, and I... Huh. Listen, Eugene, I don't have time for your nonsense. Uh -huh. I'm at the pinnacle of my career. Supported or not, I'm staying. Huh. I don't care what it is. An invasion of nematodes, sea urchins, or anchovies. Nothing will stop. Ugh. You know, that hurts uh -huh. my nose, actually. <laughs> What what about that smell, Mr. Krabs? Oh, yeah. All right, so you noticed. I need you to find SpongeBob and Patrick and bring them to me restaurant. <laughs> Stop by your homes, grab anything of value, and make sure you aren't followed. Yep. You got that, Mr. Squidward? Uh -oh. Mr. Mr. Squidward? Ah. All right. Hopefully there's not a lot of Squidward talking in the next few episodes. <laughs> I need to start bending my nose like back and forth different directions. Oh God, SpongeBob's been taken. Time to go save SpongeBob. Let's do it, Patrick. We got this, man. And I think this is just a chase sequence now, if I recall correctly. <laughs> oh, off they go. Oh. Yo, he got back here. He was gonna pay for our snacks. Of course. All right. Oh, I, oh God, oh God. Nope, everyone out of the way. Oh my goodness, I can jump as well. These are floaty boxes. All right, I think we just have to zigzag a couple times and I think there are a few enemies. Yeah, they're just gonna zap me and slow me down. I think there's some extras in the area as well, but I'm not gonna worry about that. Ah! I'm just gonna see if I can keep up with Glovey. Oh yeah, I forgot that was a thing. <laughs> Whoops. Stay clear of any pinkies that are joyriding in roller coaster carts. Noted. Wait, wait, there we go. Everyone get out of my way, stop it. Okay, I, I don't think I actually have to catch Glovey. I just need to make sure that I uh, 
stay within relative range of him. Hooray, the Tilt-A-Whirl! I remember this being terrible. Oh, that wasn't so bad. Oh, I thought that was gonna be horrible. Okay, I think one more around the bend, we got it, right? Right here? Uh-oh, am I going the right direction? Am I, am I going the right direction? I think we go into like the tunnel of love oh. kind of thing. Oh darn, they, oh yeah, the tunnel, the tunnel of love. I knew that was there. I just wanted to go ahead and pick it up. All right, the tunnel of gloves. <laughs> oh, Patrick, let's do it. Oh yeah, oh. Love has never been more terrifying. Right, single people? No, oh, I never liked Glovey. Or the new one. Real creepy stuff. No, I hear you, Patrick. Isn't there a jump scare soon? Isn't there a jump scare soon? Is there actually something back here that I can grab or no or? Okay, I guess not. No, there's a jump scare around here somewhere, right? <laughs> oh no. Hello? I'm sorry, was that my jump sound? Oh, how appropriate. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I definitely heard that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God! Patrick! Oh, I bet they went through that door over here. Oh, God! It's the staff only. Right? Okay! Patrick! Patrick, are you okay? Did you hurt him? Well, rest assured, he's fine, my spongy friend. Now pay attention, Sea Star. Oh god, nerdy voice, okay. I've been ordered to open our abandoned funhouse section of the Tunnel of Glove. Oh boy. My superiors wanted to use it as an evil maze, according to their babbles. I can't do a nerdy voice. My nerdy voice sounds like so much like SpongeBob anyways. Uh, if I do good, I could use a promotion and an overlord's minion, whatever that is. Either way, I'm not about to lose a promotion. Listen carefully, Seastar. I'm the dungeon master here, and what I say is law! Understand? I hope so. You've been given a map and a glovey brand headlight. Your task is to find the spongy treasure hidden in the maze. If you find it, you get to keep it, but beware, my superiors want to play too. They've attached a few rules to the map to guide you. Oh yeah, I remember this being like super complicated. Abide by them and they won't harass you. They never said what had happened if you're slain. Something about hugs. On the flip side, if you fail, I get a promotion. So, uh, good luck. Well, uh, actually, wait, well, go fail, okay? My mom's about to kick me out of the house, so I really need this promotion. Classic. <laughs> Classic nerdy dude in his basement, right? Oh, right, the trap door. Uh, uh, let me get that for you, Sea Star. <laughs> there you go. All right, so it begins. Okay. Oh, thank you for Hint Bubble. This does feel different, at least. I have to toggle my flashlight. And yeah, I have to toggle my flashlight. Oh, God. Okay. All right, so the point of this is I have to go around and find SpongeBob. Like SpongeBob is trapped somewhere in this maze and I have to figure out where. And quite frankly, I think I do that by running around like a doofus and hoping I run into the sponge. I know each of these tiles represents a room and each room like has something to it, but you know what? Let's, let's just, uh, let's just dive on in, shall we? Let's dive into the flower room. Is there anything bad about the flower room? <gasps> oh no, the nematode! No, this is the nematode room. I think they just slowed me down. That's okay. Uh, run through like the poison gas room because I think that can kill me. This is electricity. This can kill me. 
At least I'm very confident it can. Oh, did I mention that I know that two... Two gloves are here ready to kill me. SpongeBob resides within a black... It, SpongeBob resides where? Try asking again. No! No. Magicon shall no longer respond to you. I didn't even hear what it said. Okay, so... You stop it. Yo, everyone needs to chill out, okay? Don't think I don't s No! Ah! I forgot there was electricity behind me. Okay, I need to remember how each glove works. I think one of the gloves always follows me, and then one of the gloves just randomly chases after me. And for both of them, I just have to flash my light at them, right? Let me just dive into Glovey Room. What's in Glovey Room? Just this? Nothing? Should I be terrified? Oh god. By the way, if I step on any of these panels, I pretty much will die. Oh, and then I also have to go really slow and not run when it comes to the giant clam! I'm pretty sure that's just a hallucination. That's okay. Oh god, that doesn't look safe. Okay, everyone needs to calm down a little bit. Ooh. Ooh. Nothing like falling in love with a glove, right? Ha, ah, that rhymed. Oh, wait. Wasn't there supposed to be like a hamburger here or I think, I don't know. That's that's like one of the rooms that has like one of the extras to it. Or so oh, it's SpongeBob. Wait, wait, I can win. I can win right now. I can win right now. I can win right now. SpongeBob, hey, I win. Eat or interact. I win, correct? Yeah! <laughs> oh God, it's the nerd. Stand down, mortals, for I am Sir Johnson's greater half of the uh, second half. Level 28. I've come to fulfill my quest of getting promotion, one way or another. <laughs> what say you, foul fiend? There you go. There you uh, go. Oh boy, Patrick. Should have stayed the leader of the Mermaid Man and Particle Boy Fan Club. Oh, God. Oh, man. I thought that was going to take me so much longer. That works for me. All right, we're out. And now we're on a mission to save Bikini Bottom, I'm pretty sure. SpongeBob, what the heck's going on? This is the only thing that could be going on at a time like this, Patrick. Or the only thing that could be going on at a time like this, Patrick. Oh. No. Bikini Bottomites are getting carried away in cocoons. Okay. These citizens are becoming clones. No. And worst of all, they share the same dark eyes with the jellyfish. Yep. We are dealing. We are dealing with jellyfish anymore. No. We're dealing with. <laughs> Big scary clovey. <laughs> Jesus. Whoa. That looks like the puppet from FNAF. Barnacles. We're surrounded. Oh, God. Oh, hi. Thank you, Squidward. Squidward! Screech! Demonic screech! All right. You two come with me now. Surely I don't need to explain anything by this point. Huh. Let's get out of here. Level complete. My final score is a C. Whatever. Okay, out of curiosity, I want to hit the extras just to see what's there. Extras and unlockables, mini games, cheats, and trophies. Have I earned any trophies yet? No, of course not. Okay, what about extras and unlockables? Okay, so I'm assuming like each world is going to have its list of unlockables. Oh wait, is this showing me all the levels in the entire game? Bro, this is a massive game. Oh my God. Mini games, I have unlocked zero mini games and then Oh, maybe I can cheat? Oh, so this is like you can input a cheat code if you know the cheat codes, I see, okay. Hey, so like I've said before, this is going to be a long series. There are approximately, I'm assuming, 16 levels to the game. And you know, if we're going by like one level per video, it's gonna be a long series. I'm excited. 
So as expected, we unlocked four new levels that we can approach at any time. Two of them I played already because they were in the demo, that being SpongeBob Pineapple and Squidward's Monument, which of course I will have to play again. But then we have some new ones, Patrick's Rock and uh, uh, 3451 Anchor Way, which is Mr. Krabs' house, which are totally new to me. So I don't know. I'm gonna have to think about which one I'm gonna dive into playing next. But until then, thank you all so much for watching. Please be sure to like the video and subscribe if you have not already done so. Click on the end cards to watch more videos just like this one. I love you guys so much. Go out there and make someone's day. Be happy, stay happy. I will see you guys later. Goodbye.